Hey, welcome back on this Monday morning. So uh, for this week, it's going to be unseasonably hot. We also have some fire danger concerns that are going to increase throughout the week. We are still quite dry out there. So basically, as we continue with a dry stretch, we're going to be under very high wildfire conditions, low humidity values, temperatures going up, dry surfaces and grounds and soils uh, make for ideal conditions for the potential of wildfire development and potentially expansion if we're not careful enough. Uh, then rain chances increase as we head towards this upcoming weekend. So we have several days of this kind of dry stretch. Now here's what's happening. This is what's going to be bringing in the heat. It's this big ridge in the jet stream that amplifies right over us, peaking right over us Wednesday and into Thursday. That's when the highest conditions are expected for temperatures. Then as we look towards the weekend, look as that moves towards the east end of the country and then this wave of energy starts to dip into the Great Lakes by the end of this weekend. So that comes in with our next round of uh, potentially some rain showers for parts of Saturday into next Monday. But in the meantime, uh, basically for this week and Thursday is going to be uh, exceptionally on the hot side. So a lot of us are going to be using our AC units and our fans this week. They're definitely going to get a workout in this week. Temperatures today lower 80s for our interior locations at 70s along the shorelines the Great Lakes. Tonight into the 50s for most areas. Tomorrow low to mid 80s inland, so a little bit warmer. Still upper 70s along the shorelines of the Great Lakes for Tuesday and then Wednesday. Some areas out west pushing the upper 80s. Most areas inland in the mid 80s. Mid to upper 70s along the shorelines of the Great Lakes for Wednesday. So as I mentioned, each day increasing. This morning, just a few isolated rain showers and sprinkles across parts of Gogebic and Ontonagon counties. So those are going to continue to track north and kind of fizzle out. There is another potential of a few isolated pop-up showers later on this afternoon in those very same locations. Otherwise, it is going to be a dry day with some sunshine across the eastern half. Wind flow out of the southeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour. We do need some rain because basically all through spring, we've been without drought conditions, and now we're starting to see drought conditions. So parts of northern Houghton County, southern Keweenaw County, and along the Wisconsin state line, including Iron Dickinson and Menominee counties under abnormally dry conditions. So this is the thing that we kind of want to make sure that we prevent. But with conditions like these in place, this makes that wildfire potential a little bit worse as well. The rest of the week, as I mentioned, going to be very summer-like.